Hello everyone, this is Nichelle McCall and I'm the startup strategist where I help founders start their businesses and raise the money that they need. Uh, so today I actually want to start a new series um, on how to raise money for your startup. So I've been getting a lot of questions around, well, how did you raise a half a million dollars in, the, in about a year? And it's a process. It's truly a process. So today what I want to do is I want to start this series of going over some of the steps that I took to help me with raising the money and some of the steps that you can also take to help you with raising money for your own company. And you basically, you have to make a plan. You know, you have to make a plan and you have to execute upon that plan. So I want to start with giving you a few tips on how to set up certain goals and then how to identify the activities needed to execute on those goals and how to identify the resources needed for those goals. So we're covering three steps today. How to identify your goals, how to identify the activities for those goals, and how to identify the resources for those goals. So step one, setting goals. You really need to figure out what are the top three goals that you need to have for your business for the year to help you generate revenue? Because if you don't have goals and revenue, you're really just having a really expensive idea. So by identifying what are the top three goals that you need, whether it's you know, to get a certain number of, of customers for this year, to be able to develop out your product, to be able to develop out a certain marketing strategy, identify what are the top three main goals that are going to help you with generating the revenue that you need for your business over the course of this year. Now, once you have identified those goals, the next step is the activities. So what activities do you need to be executing this year to help you reach those goals? So if you're saying that you want to be able to, you know, reach a hundred different uh, customers over the course of this year, then how are you going to do that? What is your marketing strategy? How are you going to actually, you know, get the camp build a campaign and get the word out about what it is that you're doing? How are you going to actually reach people? Are you going to be doing Facebook advertising? How are you going to actually, you know, develop the, those advertisements? So really figuring out what are all the specific activities that you need to do? What do you need to do around your product development? What people do you need to have on board to help you execute this? What do you need to have within your operations? to help you to do this and to reach out to your customers. So really figuring out what are the activities that you need to do. Now, once you have identified the activities that you need to do, the third thing are the resources. So that ties into exactly what I was just saying. Who are the people that you're going to, going to bring on to help you execute your goals? So if you know that you need to do a marketing plan, you need a graphic designer. You need someone who can help you with some of the content writing, with maybe some public relations. So identifying all of the resources that are needed to execute on the activity to help you reach the goal is a big part of what you need in order to raise money. Because not only do you have to identify your revenue generating goals and the activities and resources necessary, but even when you're then going out to investors and to funders, they're gonna to wanna to know what are your goals that you have in place? And they're gonna to wanna to see that you've been able to reach those goals, that you've been able to execute upon it. But if you don't know what you're trying to achieve, you can't then show the proof of your labor. So I really just wanted to focus on today, starting to tell you how you can actually raise money for your startup by setting those main goals, by identifying your activities and identifying your resources in the certain categories being the people that you need, the product that you're developing, your operations, your marketing and your sales. So this is the video one of our series that's on how to raise money for your startup. And I look forward to coming back to you next week to talk about series two. All right, bye.